I remember sitting in a conference room with a great group of people that are extremely talented in our industry saying, you know, we need to bring something to D.C. that's different and that will bring education and help our community really be able to learn and, and grow and not have to spend an incredible amount of money to do so. And that's really what brought MACE to its beginnings. The first year I was actually part of MACE, I uh, was the lead planner for the event and I actually couldn't even attend the event that year. Uh, it was scheduled over one of my other conferences, so it was uh, an interesting aspect of being able to plan an entire event, um, especially for your peers and not even being able to execute it on site. Uh, but what it did was it created a great relationship with uh, one of my uh, partners on the, on the event team uh, who uh, was able to execute the whole thing and because of that, uh, that fact that I was gone and I missed it, her and I's partnership came even stronger and we're still very close friends to today. The energy of everybody getting things set, checking on the rooms, checking registration, knowing, waiting for the attendees to come and then when the first crowds of people came in and they were so excited and everybody that was working on MACE was so excited. We'd been working on this for a year and then to have that moment be there and ready to go. My first memory of MACE was probably my year as president. It was the third year of MACE. We were testing out uh, what today is known as the Flip Marketplace. So I, uh, I pulled together um, about 10 of our, my customers and said, hey, I need you to do me a favor. Inside of our trade show, I want you to take appointments with some of our exhibitors. Uh, type of a fishbowl approach. And um, what was exciting about that is there was such a buzz on the marketplace floor and people wanted to know what was happening in there. My favorite memory was being able to secure the closing keynote speaker, Carl Mecklenburg, who was uh, with the Denver Broncos. And my husband um, had just recently gotten back from Iraq, and I made him uh, be the speaker handler for Carl, and he took care of him while I ran around and did all the other stuff. I think my favorite memory of Mace it had to be uh, as, a, as a past president of the chapter. It was uh, my year as president. Um, we brought Mace back um, into the district for the first time. It was hosted at the Marriott Wardman Park. And uh, my theme was, uh, it was a rock star theme. And so it was a great, fun, high energy event. Uh, and it was a great opportunity for us to bring it closer into uh, to bring the conference back into the district. What I remember most about MACE is probably the thought of MACE before we ever got to actually having the conference. I remember Steve Beamer and Christine Feynman and their passion for doing something here locally, a regional conference that would benefit all of our membership. I think the big idea behind it was we felt like not everybody within our membership had the had the company support, the financial support to travel to the international conferences and we wanted to give them some opportunity here and with that MACE was born. The MACE program is very near and dear to my heart. I have really enjoyed watching it grow throughout the past four years and I really appreciate all the hard work and dedication that those who came before me put into the program because I felt like we were really set up success and every time we continue on year after year with MACE, we really keep evolving it and keep making it a um, premier event. In 2013 and 2014, I had a small role with the MACE program. I was president of the chapter and that was the year that Make Your Mark was our theme to the MACE program that year. And not to be braggadocious, but we did have a very successful MACE that year and I think what made it great was such a great group of volunteers who helped put a successful program together and we also had a very energetic general session speaker, Simon Bailey, who just helped everybody that year make their mark. Four years ago, when I came in as the Vice President Education, I was reflecting upon how we could make MACE even better than it already was. And one of the things that we honed in on that year was education for everyone without having to make any choices between hosted buyer appointments or education that 
to really get the true value for MACE, we really wanted all, all of our suppliers, all of our planners to be able to attend the education sessions on the full day. And so that's the change that we made. And it was, it's been amazing. What stands out about MACE is just, one, the welcoming attitude. It's, it's a really inclusive event where everyone really feels welcome. There's great networking opportunities. And I think the fact that we've reinvented it over the years, from a traditional trade show to the flip marketplace to having this year a couple of receptions and networking opportunities, to really thinking about people's time and how best to create meaningful connections and educational opportunities. I think that's why it stands out as not only just the premier you know, mid-Atlantic conference for MPI, but just one of the largest uh, chapter events that MPI has globally. One of the great things about PMPI, and, and MACE in particular, is it fosters collaboration and it really highlights the great work that we do in the hospitality industry. Whether you are a planner or a supplier, or you support the industry from the outside, we are in place for trade associations, government entities, and corporate clients they get together once a year, twice a year, whether it's in D.C., Chicago, San Diego. They get together to learn, to collaborate, to make new friends, to make new acquaintances, to advance their mission, the great missions that are being advanced across the country, whether it's healthcare, whether it's science, mathematics, uh, women's issues, uh, civil rights issues. We are there behind the scenes to support those folks that are so passionate about it that they leave that convention hall, they leave that hotel, they go out back where they come from, and they can advocate for their cause locally and nationally. And, and PMPI and MACE really help us not to forget that. In the last 10 years, I've definitely seen MACE grow, and I know that it's gonna grow further in the next 10 years. And it's all because of the drive and the dedication and the passion of the people that put it all together. Thank you.